Got my pomegranate juice. Ting! <laughs> yes. Take a sip of that. Wait for a few of y'all to come in here. As you come in, make sure you thumbs up the video. You guys, Clifton's outside. And I don't want him to come in here. Because if he comes in here, he's going to eat all of this up for me. And I got to get my mine's off the top. So I'm going to... I really wanted to go live on Facebook too. So Facebook could see how I do this. However, my husband... If, if I ask to use his phone, he going to come in here. And he going to eat all my liver. I know it. So I'm going to have to just leave this one on youtube unfortunately but i'll go live later on when i when we when we cook something else okay so you guys what's up how y'all doing so today you guys now this is gonna be real short i'm not gonna be here before you guys very long um and i will i did i will when this video goes up when this live is done i will create a short showing you guys how i made this i made my own liver this time i called my mama and asked her to make it but my mama said that um, she had some stuff to do, so she took, she couldn't come over. So she just whispered in my ear and told me, you know, gave me some key key factors. But let me tell you something. This is how I get my energy. Okay, I eat liver once a month. I only eat it around my menstruation time, like right in the middle that PMS period before your menstruation. Come on, that's when you need to eat it because it's going to give you a boost of energy. I don't know how many women go through the same things I go through, but if you are like me, like right before your period, come on, you be in that weird mood. You know what I'm saying? You might be feeling depressed, low energy, low motivation, and you might have like, um, feel lightheaded sometimes, like kind of dizzy. Um, you might be anemic. So if you are experience any of those things, those hormonal imbalances around the time you're getting ready to start your menstruation, you want to consume liver. Now, listen, I don't like liver. No, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Liver has never been a thing. I've never, ever loved it. I do not like liver. And my subscribers know that I don't like liver. Make sure y'all thumbs up the live, y'all. So you to and share this so that you people can, you know, know this because this is important. I'm saving. I'm going to save somebody's life. This stuff saves your life. Let me tell you, when you are ministrating before your ministration, if you are a woman, this saves your life. This saves your life. Now, listen, Bonnie says it's, it's tastes like the smell of poop. Listen, Bonnie, I just created a recipe for this. And let me tell you, you really don't notice his liver the way I just made it. Really? It's, it's pretty good. Oh, here come Clifton. Dang. No, I haven't tasted it yet. I haven't even had one. I haven't had one taste yet. can't do me like that. I haven't tasted it yet. Wait, let me taste it on my own. Let me hurry up, y'all, because here he comes. I'm not going to eat it all, but I'm going to get my energy. So this is what, you know how they said, did you eat your, did you drink your wheatgrass? Yeah. You, really? Yeah, that's so why I have energy. Whatever, you ain't got no energy. Anyways, we was at we was at John. No, <laughs> here, no, take the big one. Here, take the big one. Boom, clipped it, <laughs> y'all. And this is all the liver we got left. We ain't got no more. <laughs> they ain't got no more at the stove. <laughs> this is organic liver, so you want to get a good quality. You want to get like an organic one. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna put post a short video showing you guys how I made this. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's good, ain't it? Tastes like a jerk. Do a jerk. Do a wine. Uh -huh. Whiny wine. Stop lying. You know that liver's good. Look, that one looks like a sack of balls. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to start with the small ones. Throw you some hot sauce on there. Mm-mm. Stop lying, buyer. <laughs> it's good, ain't it? Alright. It's good, ain't it? Okay. I love that. 
This is how you get your energy. If you are a woman, you gotta eat your liver. And listen, you gotta be stingy with it, y'all. Your husband don't need this as much as you do. I'm talking to all the women. I don't care if you don't like it. Once a month, just one day out of the month, you gotta eat this. Um, I'm gonna find a way to like put it in some onions and gravy. One day I'm gonna put it in. Next month I'm gonna put it in some onions and gravy. But if you hate liver, I recommend eating it fried first. Like me, eat it fried. It doesn't taste as pungent when you eat it fried. You got to try it, Felicia. You got to. This is this is what helps us when we're ministrating. I don't care if this is TMI. I do not care. I'm saving somebody's life. This will keep you from needing to get a blood transfusion. This will keep you out of the doctor, okay? I almost had to go to the doctor last month, y'all. When y'all knew, y'all remember what I was going through when I had a crazy, crazy iron dip. When my iron was so levels were so low, ooh, you guys. But I'm telling you, this liver, it gives you energy. It gives it sends those endorphins to your brain and all of a sudden you start feeling happy again. You start feeling yourself again because you know how us women get around this time of the month. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right, Christina. That's why a lot of people have iron deficiencies, but women are the primary women are the primary uh sources they're the primary re uh, uh, ones, uh, people with low uh, iron or uh, iron deficiencies. It's women, you guys. And it's because we have hormonal imbalances when we have our menstruation. It's supposed to happen. Our body is basically trying to, that hormonal imbalance is because our body is trying to position itself every single month to have a baby. Our body is conditioned to have children. So your body thinks it's getting, it's, it's preparing to have children. That's why your breasts swell up and your breasts start to get tender. Your abdominal, you might get some cramping. You know, you might have these mood swings. Your body thinks it's pregnant every month. It thinks that it's, it's preparing itself to get child, to, um, to get to have a child. So that's why we go through this. Liver is important. You have to eat it, you guys. I didn't want to eat it, but I'm telling you, it saved my life last month. I would have had to probably get a blood transfusion last month because I couldn't even get out of the bed, you guys. I was in the bed for two days. Legit. And I was so nauseous. Nauseous. That's when you know your iron is just getting low. When you start, when you wake up feeling nauseous, your iron is getting low, y'all. Mm. You got to eat it. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Sandra. Hey, Mika. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's good for you. You got to eat it. Another piece, babe? No, that's mine. Here. I need it. Because I need it more than you do. No. And there ain't no more. I went to the store trying to find some yesterday. I could not find no liver. So you best believe that I'm finna go looking for this liver. And I'm finna, you want to freeze it. Put it in your freezer. Like, I want a year's worth of liver. Yeah. Stock me up. Yeah, I but my liver has to be organic. I don't like, if it's not organic, it has to be a good quality. You want a good quality liver. I mean, you can eat whatever you want. I mean, it is what it is. But I recommend eating a good quality liver. Don't eat none that's garbage. Yeah. Don't eat no garbage liver, you guys. Get you some good quality liver. Good quality. And somebody last month recommended that if you don't like it, if you really can't stand it, to drink it with milk. I tried it with milk while I was eating it last month. It worked. It gets the taste out of your mouth right away. But now it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me now. So I'm just drinking my pomegranate juice, which is really good for you too. So I got my pomegranate juice as well, you guys. So I don't care. I'm eating my liver, baby. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, no, Christina. We don't have a Murray's out here, baby, but I wish we did because I sure will be up in there. We don't really have, like, too many meat markets out here, you know? And I really like going to meat markets because you can get the food fresh there. You know, they cut it for you and everything. I got to find me a good meat market out here, you guys, where I live because it's hard. So, for those of you who want to know how I made it, don't even trip because as soon as this video goes off, I'm going to put this short video up and show you guys how I made this liver. Hey, Stephanie. Yep. It's organic. That's right, Felicia. Get you some organic liver. Yep. It's going to be more cleaner, just way more cleaner. But next month, I'm going to make it in, I'm going to make liver and gravy, like rice, liver and gravy. I'm going to actually put it over, like cook it up and everything and put it in a gravy and everything like that. Saute it overnight, like season it overnight and everything. I'm going to really gourmet it up next month. But I only eat this once a month, y'all. That's all you need. Just once a month. One day out of the month will save your life. Do you hear me? One day out of the month. That's it. You want to eat you like a bowl of liver, like enough for like a bowl, about this amount, once a month, women, and you will be fine. All of that depression, gone. Because sometimes you're just depressed from the imbalance in your body, gone. A lot of it is spiritual too. So you got to spiritually be, you got to be fasting, you got to be praying, you got to be doing all of that. When your ministration is coming, like literally you got to be on it because the enemy is coming to try to set you back. I'm telling you, spirit of setback is real. But on the, uh, on the other flip side of it, a lot of it is just hormonal, you guys. It's what we got when we, as a result of Eve eating that damn apple. It's just what we, it's just what we have to go through. So, get you some liver. Because it's going to help you. It's going to help y'all. I'm telling you. You're going to be singing. You're going to be back. You're going to wake up feeling horrible. You're going to be, by the end of the day, you're going to be singing like a bird. Happy energy. You're going to be, you're going to feel strong again. And everything. Because I was boosted last month. I was like, yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. It's like medicine. It is medicine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This stuff is like medicine for real. And I like to eat mine with hot sauce. Oh, and it's filling too, you guys. It fills you up quick. Uh-uh, this is chicken liver. I don't do the beef liver or the cow liver, but I'm pretty sure you could do it. I also heard like hearts, like um, chicken hearts, kidney, all of those organ meats. Any kind of organ meats has a lot of iron in it. So you can eat any kind of organ meats. You also could do blood sausage. Um, so uh, blood, like blood and stuff like that. Cooked blood and all of that. That stuff, we need it. It's crazy, huh? It, ain't it crazy? It has iron in it. It has a lot of iron in it. We need it. It's weird, y'all. Yeah. Adriana said beef liver is the bomb. I ain't never had none. And uh, I'm a baby liver person. So we're going we gonna to stay. We're going to stay right here for a little while. But yeah, people who live in them foreign, who live in like the foreign countries and stuff, who eat all of the parts of the animal. Listen, honey, they don't they don't suffer from these kind of deficiencies, y'all. Iron deficiencies or nothing. You should never have to get a blood transfusion. You should if you eat your lit, your organ meats, if you eat your organ meats, you'll never have to get get any of that. No, I have not. Um, how how to? Okay, good. Okay. Absolutely not, Samuel. There ain't no way I'm eating a hundred chicken nuggets. What the hell? Uh-uh. I gotta take care of my health. I gotta take care of my health. I'm not eating no hundred chicken nuggets. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, eventually I'm gonna try it all. Blood sausage, all of it. Steaks don't work for me, Adriana. I don't know why. But last month, before I ended up, you know, giving in and trying the liver, I ate the steak. 
and I ate hamburgers because I noticed that I always around that time of the month, I would crave hamburger and steak and it wasn't enough last month. It was not enough. I had steak one day. I had hamburger the next day. I still couldn't get out of bed. I still was, I still woke up feeling nauseous. I didn't feel good. The only thing that the, the nauseousness literally it went away the next day I woke up I was fine after I ate the liver. The liver I'm telling you guys it will say it will literally it will literally save your life. If you are depressed, if you are battling depression, eat some damn organ meats, eat you some liver. Eat you some liver. A lot of that is hormonal. Eat you some liver if you're depressed and you feel like you don't want to get out of the bed and you start thinking about your life. And you start thinking about everything that's going on. And it really, because in reality, what you're going through is really not that bad. But we start thinking it's so bad. You know what I'm saying? Because of that imbalance in them chemicals in your brain. So eat you some damn liver, I'm telling you. And you will at least have that energy to get up and start moving again. Life is not bad at all. You know, it's not that bad. You go through bad moments. You know, people pass away and everything. But life is not that bad, y'all. It's not. Oh, the beef liver is packaged like a steak. Oh, okay. Yes, Felicia. That's why I got on here. I'm like, I'm just eating some liver. But I think somebody needs to know this. Like, if I feel like what, what I'm doing is going to help somebody and save somebody's life and change somebody's mood, then I'm going to do it. And literally, you guys, right now, as I'm eating this liver, I literally feel endorphins going to my brain. Because before I got on here, I felt like a little lethargic and tired for no reason. When I got a full eight hours of sleep, I went... I mean, I have no reason to feel the way I'm feeling right now. It's just, it, But I knew it was hormonal. I knew what, what, I, what I was going through. And as I'm eating this liver right now, you guys, the endorphins are like going to my brain and I'm literally feeling energetic. And where and in my mind, where I felt defeated over something small, like it really wasn't even really that big of a deal. It's like you was tripping over nothing. It was literally nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Like, you good, girl. Ain't nothing wrong. So I'm now... And in my mind, I'm reasoning with myself and I'm like, girl, this issue was not a big issue. Just keep trusting God, keep moving forward. So now it's like I'm getting that energy back that I need to get. And I'm literally feeling as I'm eating this liver, I'm feeling like I dr I'm drinking a smoothie. It kind of gives you the feeling like you drunk a smoothie, like a, a, literal, a literal like smoothie that gives you energy or it makes you feel like you drank some coffee or something. When you eat it in big doses like this. You feel like you drank some coffee or something. You just get this boost of energy, but it's good. It's what you need. Take it, take it and run. Okay. Cause we all need a boost. Okay. Nowadays, especially. So take the damn boost and take off running <laughs> and tell the boot, tell, look, don't give it back. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's good to each day on baby to each day on. But I'm helping the girls out today. I'm helping the girls out today, baby. I got the women's back today, baby. Babe! Here, come on. You can have the rest, baby. See, I feel better now, y'all. My husband can have the rest. I'm not going to be that rude, be that greedy, and not share. I'm going to share because he like liver, too. And he need the boost, too. He just don't need it as much as I do. But he needed to because men, they go through hormonal imbalances too. They do. They get weak sometimes. They feel depressed sometimes too. Close the screen door, Isabel. Close the screen door. Men don't go through nothing. Isabel, you want to try the liver? No. Men don't go through nothing. Men is good. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm going to get... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, babe. You can have the rest. I have, I've had enough. I've had enough. Isabel, we got to change your clothes. Clifton, get ready. Take that liver down. I'm going to show him eating it, y'all. Yeah. He said, really? Really? Isabel, you going to try it? Wait. Go ahead. Isabel. Wait, Isabel. We're going to send you a small piece so you can try it. We put it on a, uh, we're going to put it on a short video for you. Okay? I want hot sauce. Okay. We're going to save her a piece and we're going to put it on a short video, y'all. Let's save her this little piece right here. No, this one right here. So this is gonna come on a short. No, we are gonna put it on a short video because it'll be it'll be cuter. It'll be cuter. We put it on a short video. Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh, you oh you don't okay you don't want okay he don't want me to film him eating it okay fine. All right y'all I'm getting ready to let y'all go. We are gonna film Isabel eating this liver because she's never tried liver before in her life. <laughs> it's gonna.
gonna be like eating lemons. So be looking for the short. I'm gonna have a short coming out right now that's gonna show you guys how I made the liver. And so you guys can make it the way I made it. I'm also gonna do a short showing Isabel eating the liver. Elijah's not here, you guys. He's <laughs> he's at his camp program with y'all wondering where he at. But y'all see how my mood change? It's a mood lifter, like legit. Like I'm ready to go to the gym now. I'm ready to go to the gym now. So you eat your liver, you drink your water, drink your water, you guys, Do you, say your prayers, read your Bible, pray out loud, rebuke and bind the enemy, and keep being great. Keep being great. I love you guys, and I will see y'all on the next video. Yeah, bye. Peace. <laughs> bye, y'all.